deflectors and just grab a deflector pull it out just make it you know make sure it's big enough to fit uh, the part where the, wherever the particles are big it doesn't really matter just make sure it's also lined up with your plane align with the plane pivot pivot XYZ click OK now I'm going to clone this and make it a copy and it'll be deflector 2 okay so one of these deflectors needs to stay lined up with the plane and the other one needs to be below the plane so we'll just we'll set defl it really we'll figure that out when we get there so let's o open up our particle system again and for our s snow we'll turn it on just give it a second to turn on kick in oh right here yeah, it's got to be there okay birth I'm gonna set this thing same thing 153 uh, rate just leave it at 60 for now uh, position icon the same thing it's gonna be position object and we're gonna use the feet again just trying to get where I can see those add foot add foot and same thing selected faces and it's an animated shape because the thing does animate can leave that uh, good there okay speed we'll just delete that one rotation we're gonna delete it uh, shape we can leave as a cube just like that except I'm gonna change the size to 0.3 because I want it it's really small and our display we're gonna set to geometry so we can see them I'm gonna leave them red for now so we can see them better also and we're gonna add two collisions in here right after position collision collision so we can adjust them separately if we have to and uh, force we'll put the force above the two collisions and let's minimize particle systems for now we're gonna add a gravity so go to space warps forces gravity drag a gravity somewhere leave all those settings default and for the force we're gonna go by list we'll choose the gravity so the particles will fall now as they come off the foot and you know they're falling they're going to be falling too quick now so we're going to change this influence to I guess let's try 50 nope Something lower 5 we don't want them falling too fast so at least to start with anyways all right, let's let's go ahead and make it fast, actually, because once we add the ground, uh, the collision in there, uh, that'll be good. So, all right, for the collision now, we're gonna choose deflector. This will be deflector one. We'll just keep them in order, and this collision will be deflector two. All right, so now they're gonna collide. Oh, let's go back to our collision real quick and we'll choose we gotta turn the bounce off go to deflector and go to modifier for that deflector and change bounce to zero and do the same thing for the other one deflector two turn bounce to zero and then on our particle source just to make sure we're going to change the speed to stop and the same thing with this collision speed to stop so the particles stop and they don't bounce at all we don't want them to bounce at all we just want them to drop and fall and that's it all right so now all we have to do is adjust the um the deflectors so the particles don't fall any farther right there we need them all to stop at one point so we we got one 
deflect. We just got to pick one, so we're going to take deflector two. We'll leave deflector two line with the plane, and we'll just move the deflector one. We're going to move that one down just a little bit. Just move them down until these particles that are falling right here are are kept in place. So you can right click on the move tool and just slowly scroll down until you don't see any more particles falling. And then you know you got it right where you need it. That should be it. Okay, now all the, now the particles won't fall anymore. And then the particles that fall off his feet will get stuck on the on the plane They'll because we have the de other deflector deflector two aligned with our plane and so every you know so those will stay and we'll be able to see those and that's what we want we want to be able to see them and we still have those down there all right and if we want you know you could tweak the, the other deflector um, not this deflector. We can go ahead and tweak the other deflector if we want to, you know, to make make it higher, or if we want it to actually go lower and to embed a little bit more. You know, whatever you want it to look like. If you want them to show a little bit more, then go ahead and uh, do that. But I'm going to align it with the plane, so in case I don't have any drag and I had don't have any footprints, I want to, them to kind of lay above the ground a little bit. Let me just align, set this to zero. Well, actually, I'm going to align it with the, the plane here just to get that back so I don't have to do it because it's going to be slow messing with the thing. All right, so now that one's aligned. And now once we get that set, we can just go ahead and add a whole bunch of particles. So particles. And just add a whole load of them until, you know, until you get a nice flow in there. And that'll be your snow debris uh, coming off his feet and stuff. So, And then what you want to do is under shape go to material static, add it right after shape most likely and we'll, we're going to go to our material editor. We're going to drag our snow on top of this none box. Choose instance and that'll allow that to uh, show up in there, so let's see. Let's try it after, or maybe there, there, before the shape. This way we um, can actually see it. All right, and then you then you can go ahead and play with the influence a little bit of the uh, gravity to make them fall a little bit faster. So you know you get more of a more of a realistic uh, look falling off his foot. So you can see as he steps up and stuff and the particles are kind of falling off his feet. And they're just laying on the ground now. So now what you'll want to do is render when you go to render this out, you don't want to render it like this. You want to you can render everything out together except the particles you will want to render separately. So you'll want to like un set everything to unrenderable and choose to render the particles separately. This way you can when you bring them in to comp everything together in After Effects or wherever you're going to do it, you add a blur to them. A fast blur, motion blur, whatever looks better. And this way there it's it do doesn't look like little cubes. It looks like a, a dust, you know, that's all blurred together. Especially with the motion blur as they're falling off his feet. It'll look like dust falling off his feet, and that's how I did my animation. If you saw my animation on my YouTube site, you, that's how I made it uh, look dusty rather than little cubes like that. And uh, you know, that's how you get that look. Because, like, of course, if you go to render this now, it's just gonna look like little, little ice cubies, and you don't want that. You want it. You want them blurred, and it'll give it that nice dusty look. All right, so that's how you do that, and of course, you know, you add a little bit of lighting and some shadows. It'll help uh, enhance the the ridges a little bit better of the mesh and all that stuff, and you know, everything will look cool. But um, that's pretty much how you do that. And also, just to show you, 